Why bother with solar cooking? I believe the answer can be found in simplicity. There's an old acronym called KISS. It stands for Keep It Simple, Stupid. The idea being is that the best approach is often the most straightforward solution to any problem. Let's look at this idea a little more closely as it pertains to cooking. Most of us just simply walk up to our electric or gas range and turn the knob or push a button to start cooking our favorite foods. It is convenient, easy, and for most of us, affordable. But have you ever really thought about what it takes to get that convenient energy into your kitchen? First of all, you have to mine the coal out of the ground by blowing the top off of a mountain or digging deep into the earth. Using very large equipment that is powered by lots of carbon-based fuels. Next, you have to ship the coal for hundreds of miles to a coal-powered electric generation plant by either semi-truck or rail, where it is then burned to produce steam for electrical generation. This is the point where the CO2 greenhouse gas, mercury, coal ash, and other toxic chemicals enter our air supply. Next, the electricity is carried over large power lines to sub-electric stations where the current is stepped down for use in homes and businesses. From there, it is carried on to smaller power lines through transformers, your electric meter, and into your homes, and finally arrives at your cook stove. About 30% of the electricity generated is lost between generating plant and your home. If you use a gas range, the energy used starts by drilling very deep wells. Because we peaked on all easy to get natural gas several years ago, natural gas companies are now using a method called fracking, where deep wells are drilled thousands of feet into shale formations. Once the drilling is done, an explosion like a mini earthquake is set off in the shale to produce cracks in the rock. Then fracking fluid and sand is forced into the shale under pressure to keep the cracks open so the gas can seep back up the well. Sometimes the natural gas and fracking fluids escape up through the layers of earth above the shale and pass through the water table. The result can cause the local drinking groundwater to be poisoned and even sometimes become flammable. Another hazard is that the fracking fluids contain very dangerous, non-degradable chemicals like benzene that are carcinogenic. As thousands of gallons of fracking fluid returns to the surface, they are held in surface ponds where too often they leak or are dumped into the environment. It takes between 1 and 7 million gallons of water to create the fracking fluid for each well. Each well can be fracked up to 18 times. The last figure I saw was that there are 450,000 fracked natural gas wells in the U.S. Each one of those wells requires 1,150 semi-truck loads of equipment containing water, fracking chemicals, and excavation equipment. Once the natural gas arrives at the surface, it is put through a heating process to separate it from water moisture. Then it goes through separators where it is refined. The gas is then compressed by diesel-powered turbines into high-pressure gas lines and tanks. The natural gas is then either trucked or piped to wherever it is used. In this case, down your street, through a gas meter, and into your home's cook stove. The truth is, natural gas produced through fracking is neither clean, safe, or efficient. When we look at all the infrastructure needed, energies used, pollution, and damage to our environment, and the utility cost to consumers for the use of conventional cook stoves, when considering all these factors, it makes walking out to the solar oven in the yard seem downright amazing. Considering it can do the same job in relatively the same amount of time without the infrastructure, 
carbon-based fuels, environmental pollution, and utility costs. What could be simpler and more straightforward? Why bother with solar cooking? Of course, the answer is that it is a great way to supplement cooking on those sunny days when solar energy is free and abundant. It is a great way to save yourself money on cooking energy and cooling your home in the summer. Solar cooking reduces your carbon footprint and use of finite resources. Solar cooking is also a great preparedness method should an emergency cut you off from gas or electric utilities.